Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. We are here to break the codes you receive. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive to see somebody soon, okay? This is by a young woman that lives down here in TK. Tell the contestant, her name is Alexis Dickerson. But they changed the name to Alexis Crawford. Roommates and roommates boyfriend charged for her mother. So yes, Jordan Me is involved. She is in their house. In that apartment with them other young lady bodies or it about to break. Okay. This is the picture. Okay. The state of Georgia banded together to help find she saw the same shot too. That's nothing to do with it though. Selling her to this to that person. The state of Georgia banded together to help find out what happened to 21 year old Alexis Crawford. The Clark Atlanta University student last had contact with her family when she FaceTimed her mother on October the 30th. She's saying yes. Well, she's saying it wasn't her mother, it was Mashallah. She said there is proof. There wasn't anything out of sorts about Alexis doing that call, and she was reportedly in good spirits. Okay. However, something regarding her Instagram. However, the days leading up to the university student's disappearance was riddled with controversy. She's saying yes. On October the 26th, there was a lead incident that happened between Alexis Crawford and her roommate, Jordan Jones. She's saying, Mashallah, that caused tension in the relationship. In Alexis' missing person report, so it could be bodies of her, body suits, okay, or she in that apartment, what she's saying. Missing person reports. The incident is in detail, but it does show that whatever happened made Alexis uncomfortable enough that she began sleeping in the living room. She's saying yes. That's where I'm at. Then on October the 22nd, 27, Alexis Crawford claimed that Jones' boyfriend, Barry Brinkley, made unwanted advances toward her. She's saying yes. Um, Jordan me. Um, they were all living there, though. We must all in them. A uh, part of the freak she's saying. Alyssa reported to authorities that she and Brantley was drinking together when he rubbed her shoulder with his hand and kissed her on the neck. According to the Washington Post, she also stated that he followed her back to her room, but later she was found by her roommate. Jones passed out in a bathroom by herself. Okay. Alyssa shared that she didn't recall Brantley being inside of the restroom with her, but she didn't know exactly what happened. She like off of a player club when Ebony did what she did. It kind of like what they trying to play, but she didn't know exactly what happened. Authorities reportedly recovered a pair of cut panties from the scene. Yes, Brantley told investigators that he didn't have sex with Alyssa, but she was taken to a local hospital to complete a rape examination. They hospital. He also stated that he that um Teresa girl, that Teresa woman, really Mills girl wife. He also stated that he only made advances towards Alexis because he mistook her for his girlfriend. Lies. Both Brantley and Jones were questioned about Alexis' disappearance until one of them led authorities to a park. There, the detectives found Alyssa's body and later her cause of death was determined to be asphyxiation, so she was strangled, hung. She was hung. It hasn't been shared with, it hasn't been, with something in her mouth. She said something that's in her mouth. Could be the panties or she said could be sperm. It hasn't been shared with which of the two suspects told the police where to locate Alyssa. She said a lot of sperm. Of different people, different men. Women. There's also hasn't been a verified motive for the killing. Yes, that look like them. This is like um, an article on Fruta, college student murder. Police investigate what led to Alyssa Crawford's body by one of the two suspects, both 21, Jordan Jones' roommate, Baron Brantley, Jones' boyfriend. Motive. She's saying because I dated her ex-boyfriend. But that's my baby daddy, though, she's saying. Motive. APD looking into report filed by Alyssa prior to disappearance for sexual harassment for Brantley. Okay. This is their pictures that they took. They fake jail. Okay. She said act like they hard and stuff. Okay, that could be Jordan Mills though. Brantley and Jones face but she is in Jordan Mills apartment though. In that girl apartment. Brantley and Jones face charges of malice murder. Yes, she did. She was her roommate. 
Brinkley has a slew of other charges, including hitting a pussy, making an emergency telephone call, and violating probation, stemming from family, family battery, cruelty to children and death. Yeah, she couldn't really talk to her family like that, like she wanted to, y'all, because she was under, they were watching her everywhere she go. They know what she was doing. They knew who she was talking to. She couldn't say too much to y'all. I see my condolences, still can't she saying. I send my condolences to Alyssa Crawford's loved ones during this tragic time, okay? This is not her real name. You see that? that? ain't her real name. She got another name. A real name, okay? Could be, she's saying Dickerson, okay? Or Williams, okay? Dickerson. She's saying Dickerson, okay? If y'all want to hit with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do because it's what I love to do, okay? I'm out. Peace.